Hey, it's Lucky. So, you're learning Godot and you don't want to stare at the empty void of an editor when tinkering around. Don't worry, I put together this little project. It's got a couple of dev rooms and a basic first person controller and some other fun things for you to start learning in a more visual environment. I find that uh, visuals really help motivate me to keep going, learn new stuff and just be excited for a project. So I thought I'd put this together just for you guys uh, who are new to Godot and just want to play around first and see if you like the engine. So the project comes with this environment, it's like this little bunker, uh, put some posters on there with decals, you'll see. Uh, we also got this one. This is the environment I used for my third person controller, it's a lot bigger. Uh, it's got some lights and multi-directional shadows, yeah, it's just a lot larger for you to play around. Maybe put some horses in here, looks like there could be horses in here, looks like a barn or something. The last one it's got is the sci-fi one. This is actually interesting. Uh, this is a tile set. I used it for this video. But yeah, all the walls and floors and doors and everything is modular. So you could even write the generate script and generate some space stations or just play around to make this room larger or smaller to your liking. But yeah, I think that all these rooms all fit a kind of team what kind of game you're going for. So you could go sci-fi or old school or just a little more modern. It comes with a basic FPS controller. So let me run the project real quick. So yeah, just basic first person controller, walking around, jumping, and I added these little physics balls. All the rooms have full collisions and you can collide with the balls. So yeah, it's just something fun to play around with to get you started. Let me show you how I structured these scenes so you know what you're dealing with. Quit out of this. Each stage comes with a world environment, uh, a stage node and a FPS controller. The world environment is just your lighting and your post-processing effects. Then the stage node contains the model. I made all these models completely myself. Uh, then there is a lights node which just contains all the spotlights or any other lights in any other scenes. Then a posters node. These are just a little lucky icon and a Godot icon that are on the wall in each stage. And the collision. So these are just the collision boxes for the stage. Uh, this one also, yeah, the lighting update. This one also comes with a directional light, it's just the sun. You can rotate it around to get different kinds of lighting. This scene is the only one that uses the global illuminations, so you can also play around with that and some volumetric fogs. So yeah, you can play around with the graphics a little bit. And like I said, this one comes in a tile set. So as you can see, uh, the whole world is just tiles and they're all snapped to a grid, so you can easily manipulate them, add more rooms, whatever you like. I actually included the whole tile set right in here, it's hidden. But yeah, if you just hide the tile map and just show the tile set. These are all the tiles I used in this demo. So yeah, you can build some pretty fun stuff with it. Uh, last thing I wanted to show is the code real quick. It's super simple. This is just the most basic first person controller you could make. And there is this little piece of script which spawns the uh, physics ball and then shoots it out of the camera. If you want to switch between the different rooms, you just go into project, project settings, and then on the run, you can see the main scene. If you select this little folder, you can select any one of the scenes and click open. And now when you run it, you're in a different scene. So yeah, it's just something to play around with, something to get you started, have something visual to look at while you're learning. It can help a lot with motivation. And I mean, these physics balls are just a lot of fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these little dev rooms. Play around with the physics a little bit. If you make something cool, be sure to link me or add me on Twitter. Uh, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.